Hello all, if you have watched all the three previous videos before coming here, I really thank you for your time and patience. This one is going to be a bit tricky. This is the video about the cabinet which is basically shut and it is like a black box to me. Uh, the only thing that is certain to be inside there is the Samsung CDU or the baseband unit. It will process the RF feed coming from the radios. If this cabinet was not here, this site could possibly be a centralized RAN or a cloud RAN where the baseband processing was being done at a far edge data center. I will now try guessing what's probably inside this cabinet. So there will be a bunch of MCBs at the top or miniature circuit breakers. This will protect all equipment in this cabinet from a current overload or a short circuit. Below that will be Samsung's CDU or the baseband unit as we know it. Uh, this CDU will have three sets of optical fiber cables coming from the three sectors, alpha, beta and gamma, completely BRG color coded as we discussed in the previous video. Uh, the unit will probably be Samsung CDU30, but I can't be completely sure about it. Uh, the CDU is connected to RRH through CIPRI and it can provide up to four carrier per three sector service. Uh, let me flash a diagram of the CDU here. So uh, up to three channel cards can be mounted in a CDU and LCC4 has a capacity of one carrier per three sector per board by default. Uh, LCC4 is just an OFDMA, SCFDMA channel processing card. Uh, the four slots of CDU are multi-board type slots where LMD1 carries out the main processor function, network interface function, clock generation and distribution function, uh, provider requested alarm processing and so on. Uh, the GPS antenna that I had mentioned in the first video is also connected to this baseband unit through a GPS arrestor. Uh, the CDU will also connect to a cell site router, which is quite possibly Cisco's ASR 920. A slight detour, hey, I have tested LFAFRR and Flex LSP on that router. Uh, coming back, the router has connections towards the backhaul via optical fiber cables. Uh, Geo has loads and loads of optical fiber uh, all over the country, uh, reported to be around 250,000 kilometer optical fiber. So infrastructure is uh, not really a pain point for them. Uh, along with the units I mentioned, there will be batteries inside the cabinet for backup power. So yes, that is all I must share from this macro cell site tour. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, uh, learned something from it. Hope you can use this information in a casual radio access network conversation with someone. Uh, thanks for watching. God bless and goodbye.